Today I had no idea what to cook, and that happens to me a lot. So I went to my freezer to see if there's any frozen meat or anything to make something good, and I found one pound of frozen meatballs. Large oven baked frozen meatballs. And I knew that would be good. And then I went to my cabinet, thought maybe some pasta or something like that, and I found this mac and cheese. Remember these old classics? We used to get these for four or five for a dollar sometimes. They're usually craft, but this is family gourmet. I think my mom gave me this for some reason. She thought I was hungry. You know how moms are. So I'm gonna follow the directions on this box, transfer it to the pressure cooker, and throw in some meatballs. Ain't that gonna be good. Okay. Open the box of macaroni. We don't need this handy rack. There's a handy rack in here. An instant pot. Open these up. There's a cheesy packet in there, remember? Cheese sauce mix. Powdered. I ate many boxes of these back in the day. Not lately though. This is 7.25 ounces. Put that in. Put it in. Now, look at these directions. It says boil six cups of water, stir in pasta, cook seven to ten minutes, or until tender. Do not rinse. Drain, do not rinse. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put six cups of water in here, which I have pre-measured for my convenience. Then, I'd like to add my meatballs. In go to meatballs. Look at them. Nice meatballs. Another example of how you can experiment with anything with your Instant Pot. Anything in your house. Throw it in there and see how it comes out. Look what it starts like. That's what it starts like. Okay. Put the lid on. We know how. Go to manual pressure. I'm going seven minutes. That's it. Then, after the pressure, I'm going to follow the instructions on the box. I'm going to drain out the water, and I'm going to add the cheese sauce mix, a quarter cup of milk, and a quarter cup of butter or margarine. All right, that's it. Let's see how we did. Let's let the pressure out. I put a little towel up there, so keep the steam off the cabinets a little bit. Be right back. Sure smells good, that's for sure. Macaroni and meatballs so far. Pressure's almost out. Almost. Wait for the button to pop down. There we go. There we go. All right. Mmm. Let's open it up. Now, might not look finished because it's not. Might look like water, macaroni, and meatballs. And that's what I see. You want to see? See? We're going to drain the water off, remember? Following instructions on the box. Give it a little steer. See how it's going in there. Not bad. Ooh, yeah, they puffed up. Mm. We're going to like it. We're going to like it. Carefully drain this pot into my strainer in the sink here. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing even really stuck, see? A little bit, a couple, two or three in there. Not bad. Put the pot back in. Take your drain, but not rinsed. Macaroni and meatballs. Take the cheese sauce mix that was included. Powdery. Ooh, it's a white cheese. That's okay. Sprinkle it around. Stir it a little bit. Dollar store gourmet meal. Stir it a little bit. 
some more in there. Stir a little bit more. Yeah, it's getting cheesy. Powdery cheesy. We could also add some more of our own cheese in here. Oh, the white cheese is turning yellow. Yellowish. Yeah. They give you enough, don't they? I say they do. More, more, more. Now it calls for a quarter cup of milk, which I have pre-measured. That's going to help. And a quarter cup of butter or margarine, which I also have ready. Blop. Here we go. Stir that. Stir it. Unplug it. Use that heat. Put the butter on top. Put the butter on top. And put that lid back on for two or three minutes. Get a noodle out of there. Yeah, motor on. That's the neighbor gonna motor on. He must have smelled my food. Put that lid back on. Two or three minutes. Okay, it's been two or three minutes. And look at it. All done. Wow, it's so delicious. Kind of creamy that turned out. I was thinking I would have to put some more cheese on there, but I'm impressed for dollar store macaroni and cheese. Let me get this fancy spoon I got from some other gadget. Let's get some. Meatball. More meatball. Is that how the spoon works? <laughs> macaroni didn't even stick to the bottom. How's that? See? Let's go over and take a, take a taste. So here it is. Another delicious, great concoction, which you could change up any way you like. If you got a box of this macaroni around, Kraft or other brand, you know the you know the type, I know you had it. Whatever you got in the freezer, maybe throw some spaghetti sauce in there or vegetables if you like. I get to taste it. Or put your own meatballs in there. I like cooking my own homemade meatballs. There, I got macaroni, cheese, and meatball. Oh, one bite. Ooh. Mmm. Excellent. Perfect. Perfect consistency. Perfect cheesiness. Um, put some breadcrumbs on if you like. Look at that. Mm. You can make it spicy if you like. You can put a can of them chipotle peppers in there like I've been using lately. More meatball. More meatball, more macaroni. Give this a try, all right? Mmm. Mm. Such an inexpensive, delicious creation. Meal. Subscribe if you like. Click that right there. See that? All right. Thanks. I'm going to enjoy this. So delicious. Remember, you can do it. You can make it any way you like. Talk to you soon. Look out. I'm going to hit you. Gotcha. Talk to you later.